Hello guys. Today we will introduce how to connect and set up parameters when use Redlink THS R7FG and the brushed ESG Q9030 to control the dual motor bait boat. First, let me introduce how to bind the transmitter and receiver. Power on the receiver R7FG via the 9030. Connect the TST60 from the ESC to the battery and the servo wire to the channel 2 of the R7FG. No press the power switch of the T8S to power on it. Turn on the power switch of the ESC to power on the receiver. There is a black binding button on the side of receiver. Press the button for more than one second and release. The LED will flash quickly. It means binding success when the LED stops flashing. Then let us calibrate the throat range of the two ESC. First, turn off the ESC and connect the ESC to the motor. Connect the ESC to the channel 2 because the elevator stick of the transmitter can back to the center automatically. Second, set up the channel 2 of transmitter to reverse by mobile phone app. Turn on the Bluetooth of the mobile phone and then click connect. It will appear the Bluetooth connection interface. Click radio link. When you hear the DD sounds, then press any trimmer button to connect the transmitter. And the parameter setup app. Click basic into basic parameters setting page. Set up the channel 2 from normal to REV. And then click right to save the setting. When you hear the DD sounds, it means the channel 2 reverse have set up successful. Now, let us calibrate the throat range for the first ESC. First, move the elevator stick to the top position. Second, turn on the ESC. Third, Move the elevator stick to the bottom position when heard two short beeps. Move the elevator stick back to the natural point when we hear two short beeps. Now, let us calibrate the throat range for the second ESC. The calibrate steps are same as the first one. Connect the TST60 from the ESC to the battery and the servo wire to the channel 2 of the R7FG. First, move the elevator stick to the top position. Second, turn on the ESC. Third, move the elevator stick to the bottom position when you heard two short beeps. Move the elevator stick Back to the natural point when we hear two short beeps.
We have already connected the two ESC to the two motors when we calibrate the ESC. Now let us connect the telemetry wire to the telemetry port of receiver and the battery. Please pay attention to the positive and negative narrative. Do not connect reverse and connect the servo wire of the first ESC to the channel 1 of the receiver. So far, work connection has finished. We have connected an ESC to the motor on right and to the channel 1 of the receiver. The other ESC to the motor on left and to the channel 2 of the receiver. Power on the two ESC and find out motors and ESC are work normal. Since this bait boat is a dual motor one, the programmable miscontrol has to set up. Before the programmable miscontrol has set up, we must check if the motors have worked normal. Since the right motor has connected to the channel 1 of the receiver, move the aileron stick to the left and then the motor on the right should rotate clockwise. Now move the aileron stick to the left. We can check the right motor is anti-clockwise rotation. It means that the rotation the rotation of the right motor is wrong. Now, let us check if the rotation of the left motor which connects to the channel 2 is right. When we move the elevator stick to the top position, it shows the left motor rotate clockwise. While the left motor should rotate anti-clockwise when we move the elevator stick to the top position to push the boat go forwards. It means both left motor and right motor are connecting with wrong rotation. We must change the rotation of the motors by the mobile phone app first. First, change the face in basic menu. Set up channel 1 from normal to reverse and set up channel 2 from reverse to normal and then click right to save the settings. Second, check the rotation of the motors after the settings. Move the inner stick to the left and we can find that the motor on the right rotate clockwise now. It means the motor connect to channel 1 is working right. And then move the elevator stick to the top position. We can find that the motor on the left is anti clockwise rotation. It means the motor connected to channel 2 is working right too. Third, it is time to set up the programmable mix function. 
we can find out that just one channel working when we move in a ring stick or elevator stick. Now let us set up the programmable mix function. First, click System to the setting page. Set up the first and second programmable mix function from forbid to on. Set up the master channel of the first programmable mix function channel one, and the sniper channel is channel two. Set up the master channel of the second programmable mix function is channel two, and the sniper channel is channel one. Set up the data of up and down a、uh, one hundred. Click right to save the settings. Now we can find that the motors on the left and right are work no matter we move the inner stick or elevator stick. Parameters set up have not finished yet. The rotation of the two motors must set up right to make the boat sailing right depends on transmitter control. First, move the inner round stick to the left. We can find that the motor on the right is clockwise rotation, and the motor on the left is anti-clockwise rotation. While both the motor on left and on right should be clockwise rotation, it means that. The motor's rotations are still wrong, so the first programmable mix function are wrong. Second, move the elevator stick to check if the motor's rotations are right or not. Move the elevator stick to the top position. We can find that the motor on the left is anti-clock. Wise rotation, and the motor on the right is clockwise rotation. It means the two motors are work right. So the settings of the second programmer mix function are right. The next step just needs to reset the parameters of the first program mix function. Open the parameter setup mobile phone app again. Click System to the setting page. Change the data of up and down from one hundred to minus one hundred. Click right to save the settings. Move the sticks to check if the motor's rotations are right or not. Move the inner rod stick to the left. The two motors are clockwise rotate, and move the inner rod stick to the right. The two motors are anti-clockwise rotate. It means the two motors work right. So far, what conditions and parameters settings are finished?